Good evening. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, Sandra. Hola, I'm you. fine. Hello. What about you? What about you? I'm very nice. And you? You are happy. Yes. Yeah, I'm. Yes. I'm happy too because I just finished the platform. I have a problem with with the number four and the, the listening. The Alex, I don't know where is Alex. Alex. Ah. Hey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing, <laughs> guys and girls? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Good evening. How was um, how was your day? How was work today? Yeah, very very busy as always. Very busy. It, it yeah. was very very warm. It was very what? Warm. Very warm. 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 Hey, okay. Oh, warm. Do, do you do you, do you think the weather? If you live in San Salvador, do you think the weather is hot right now? No, yes, uh, yes. I live in, yes. in Zacatecoluca, yes. No, you live in Zacatecoluca? Yes. And is it hot over there? Over yes. there? Yes, oh, okay. the is hot. Really? Okay. <laughs> All right, it's, it's okay. I don't feel it's, it's hot. I really don't think it's hot. <laughs> you know, but um, anyways, that's great. And, and, um, and how about work, guys? How's everything? Hey, why do I see so few people today? What happened to the rest? Jesus, we only, usually, usually guys at this time we have more people. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, welcome. All right. Anyways, Hi, guys. So, so guys, um, let's continue talking about passive voice, right? So yesterday, <clears throat> we went over we went over the explanation on passive voice with present continuous right yes yes all right very good so how do you or right, so let's let's try to do a quick recap okay so how do you identify passive voice like for examples from the examples that we had yesterday right the dog has been taken to the vet right is this passive voice we said that this is is this possible? Yes. Yes, no? yes, it is. But how do you how do you identify that? Um, because because um, the structure has a, a subject and auxiliary that is coming from have, and the past participle of, of be, and and then taken also is a past participle. Yes, exactly, right? So we have this right here is a, a, big, a big keyword, right? Bin and then past participle, okay? So we have B, right? And then we have the past participle form here. All right, very good, guys. So that's how we can identify it, okay? Guys, do me a favor. If you're not, oh, uh, if, if I hear too much noise, guys, okay, you can unmute yourself when you participate and then please, Meet yourself because we have like your family might be talking in the background or or the you know the feeder lies right or the TV <laughs> right so anyways all right but yes guys okay that is correct okay so let's talk about present perfect passive voice okay so this is one of the tenses that we have in the platform right so present perfect okay so who'd like to help me help me read. I will teach you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Okay. The present perfect perfect passive voice. Formation and usage. The present perfect passive passive voice is a type of sentence construction that emphasizes the completion of an action that has taken place in the recent past, with the object of the sentence receiving the action. Very good. Right, so again, it's the object of the sentence receiving the action, okay? Yes. All right, so this is how this looks like, okay? To um, 
So if we said, guys, the teacher has rated the tests, right? So yesterday, yesterday, we answered so some questions about the the, the different types of of um, tenses that we got, right? And we turned them into passive voice altogether. So we said when we say, guys, the teacher has graded the tests, right? This is what tense? Is this passive voice? No. Question perfect. Very good. Right? Exactly. So we're, okay, so the subject, right, is the star of the action here. That's All present right? perfect. All right. And do, do we have an object? Yes. 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 Yeah, the test. All right. So, right, we have the test, right? So, if we wanted to turn this into passive voice, right, we would say, what? How would we? How would we turn this into passive voice? And the test. Okay. The, the changing, test. changing. The test. The test, the test is great. Have. Have great. Been graded by the teacher. By the teacher. Yes. All right. The tests have been graded by the teacher. All right. Very good job, guys. Very good. All right. So let me let me pull out the whiteboard. Okay. All right, guys. So, anyways, so we have. How about this, guys? Right. Uh, what if I said, um, I have you know what or dua lupe right dua lupe has gone to church turn this into passive voice dua lupe has gone to church <clears throat> The church? The object is the church, yes. Okay. The church. The, the church. What is it? Repeat. The church. 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 Hi. No, no. Hmm. Has gone. Has reached. <laughs> has been. Okay. Has been what? Has been. Visited by Guadalupe. But where is the, the, the verb visited? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Being visited. Gone. Changing, changing Gone. everything because. <laughs> 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 is it impossible? <laughs> so, what's, what's wrong here? Huh? <laughs> Just, has been gone. It is not correct to say. No. Has been gone. Huh? Is going. No, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> has been gone, teacher. All right. What is that? What is an object, guys? The, is, the object. Church. Is church. The, Church. 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 Is this is this is this the object? What is an object in grammar? Or receive an action. Okay, and what action is this receiving? Gone. Has gone. Gone. Is it receiving gone? No. Has gone to. Yeah. All right. So what's wrong, guys? Tell me. Tell me, right? <laughs> think. Um, I think gone is cannot be used in passive has, voice. I think. Has gone. Okay. Or you can say like change the verb. This All right. Is, no. All right. Listen, guys. Listen. I want. I want somebody. Or I want somebody to tell me what is the function of an object in, in a tense, in any tense. 
receive an action. An action. It receives the action. What? But what? What receives the action? What? An adjective. Can an adjective receive the action? Mm, I don't think so. Has been visited. I don't know. Has been visited by <laughs> But visited is not there. You cannot say visited because it's not there. <laughs> well, but that's the meaning. Nope. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. All right. All right. Very good, guys. So listen, the thing is that we have to go. I know this one is difficult, right? So, Dualupe. Right? Pay attention to this, guys, okay? Because this is, if you want to understand grammar perfectly, right? We have to understand this part. Dualupe, guys, is what? The subject. All right, so we subject know that this is, is subject. Sub, don't say so, guys. There's <laughs> no so. Sub, sub. All right? Subject, subject, okay? Subject. So this is the subject, okay? All right. Now, when we say church, you say that this is the object. It's the object, yes. Object. Abba, not over. Abba. Object. Abba. 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 Object. Object. Yes. All right, so no, guys, this is not an object. Huh? This is not an object. Why is that an object? No, you tell me why that is an object. Why? Why is that an object? That is the object to what? Think about that. That is the object to what? Nothing. Can, can I say, guys, Dualupe has gone early? Yes or no? It could be. Yes. Can, can I say that? All right. Maybe. Early is modifying what? The verb. The person oh. modify yes, right oh. how she yeah, went. Know. All right. So this is answering how she went. So it's an adverb. This guy's oh. right here to church oh. is answering it's one question. Subject. Where? Oh. This place. phrase to church is an adverb for adverb. God. Oh. Right? It's answering the question where. Adverb. All right. This is not a this is not an object. This is not working as oh. a noun. An object can only be a noun or a pronoun, right? Or a noun phrase, right? Bad guys, in this case, to church is modifying gun, right? Therefore, this is an adverb, okay? okay. All right. It's an adverb of place. Place. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So this is an adverb, right? So in this case, guys, this is why it's easy. It's easy, guys. 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 When you participate, participate, all right, please. And please mute yourself afterwards, okay? Because you have background noise, okay? All right, so listen, guys. So when you say, guys, when you say to church, right? This is why you cannot, it's impossible to, to turn this into passive voice, right? Because you cannot say uh, the church has been gone. By Dualupe. Okay? You can't say that. No, we can't. All right. Why? Because it's not working as an object. We do not have an object in this sentence. We do not have a direct object in this sentence. Okay? Now, think about this. Uh, can we Is say, it uh, a verb? Okay. Is it a transitive verb? Okay. Is it a transitive verb? It's, it's not transitive verb. This this is not this has nothing to do with a transitive verb, right? Right now, this is this is an adverb, okay? To church is an adverb to gun. Okay. Now we also have um let's see guys. I'm gonna give you another example of when we can use this, okay? So do not make this mistake, right? I have seen a lot of people outside what about this so what if i said i have seen a lot of people outside can we turn this into passive voice no are you sure i don't know you tell me guys analyze it it's 
Yes, of course we can. A lot of people also have, because have been people seen by this. Object. A lot of people outside is the object. The a lot of people outside is the object. Yeah. All right. Well, the other adverb outside. Very good. Okay. So yes, guys. Okay. The answer is yes. We have an object here. Okay. So we have where is the first of all we have the subject I right, and then where is the object of the sentence? Is it people? Uh, outside. A lot of people outside. Outside? A lot of? It's a place. Where's the, the object? A lot of people a lot outside. A lot of people outside. All right, very good. A lot of people, guys, okay? All right, a lot of people. Okay. Now, you can say, so how do we turn this into act into uh the um into passive voice? A lot of people have seen. A lot of people have seen like this. A lot of people have seen. Have been seen outside. Has been seen have for my for my seen. seen. All right, have been seen. A lot of people have been outside. seen outside. outside. All right, you can say a lot of people have been seen outside. And then you mm -hmm. can say by me, right? All right, so guys, to turn present perfect, okay, let me go back to the presentation here. All right, so to turn, okay, so to turn guys, present perfect into passive voice, you need to follow the structure that we have here, right? The tests have been graded by the teacher, right? So what, what do we have here, guys? All right, so let me put it like this. Okay, hold on. Now, take a look at this example, right? The teacher has graded the tests, right? That is a clear example of, that is a clear example of present perfect, okay? So let's say the teacher has, has graded the tests, okay? So now let's think about this, guys. So now, first of all, you can remember, you cannot turn something into passive voice if it doesn't have a direct object, okay? So when we say, guys, the teacher has graded the test, yeah, of course we have the direct object here, right? So what is the structure? What is the structure, guys, of uh, turning this into passive? Subject, would... subject right. has and so, the participle verb. Okay, so very good. Okay, so the, the structure that we're gonna have, right? So the structure is going to be the subject, all right, plus what? Plus so, have or the auxiliary. <laughs> Have, have or has, or right? Has, yes. The participle. Huh? Past participle. No. Uh -uh. Not, a, yeah. not a past participle. Remember the, stru the structure the structure for, for, for passive voice, okay? Participle. No. The verb. Simple the verb. Past. Ben. Present. Present. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ben. Huh? Simple past participle. No, past participles, okay? Past, past participle. participle. All right. And then what? Compliment. The object. By. Object. Mm -mm. Oh. The, all right. He has been. Okay, hold on. He has uh, been. The object. I'm sorry. The We can say the car has been. Has or been. The test has been graded, right? By. Go by. by. And then. Object. We need the object, right? Very good. Okay. So this is the structure, guys, of turning uh, present perfect into passive voice, okay? So an example, guys, would look like this. So you can say, I don't know, guys. Uh, you can say vodka. Vodka Berto, all right? So vodka Berto um, 
has graded the students' tests, okay? So World Caverito has graded the students' tests. So now, how do we turn this into passive voice following the structure that we got over here? Mm -hmm. The student tests has uh, have been graded by Volcaverto. Very good. The student tests have mm -hmm. been graded okay. by, right? By Volcaverto. <laughs> I'm just going to call him, you know, Vod, okay? The student tests have been graded by Vod. Okay, really good. Bye, All right, really good, guys, okay? Hey. So see? What is the difference right now? We're making emphasis on the object of the sentence, okay? So do we have any questions so far, guys? Or so far, so good? So far, so good, teacher. Ready for some practice? Yes, sir. All right. All right. So see, guys, uh, just one more example, right? The teacher has graded the tests versus the tests that have been graded by the teacher, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, please do not make the mistake, guys, of trying to use to turn, you know, past part, I mean, um, everything into passive voice because that is impossible, okay? So if I said, guys, uh, I, um, I've, uh, uh, let's see, I've felt bad this last week, right? Turn this into passive voice. Well, first of all, is this is this past? I mean, is this present perfect? Mm, not it is. It's not. Oh, 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 it's not. Yes, present perfect. Yes, no, it's it not. Or yes. yes, it is. It's present perfect. It's, pre it's present. present perfect. Yeah, it is present perfect, right? Okay, all right. Yes. So now turn this into passive voice. Tell me, can you turn this into passive voice? Yes or no? No. Yes. No, we can't. Some people say yes, some people say maybe no. maybe we can say this this last week last week I thought about I hate uh, I feel I I been I have been I, I have, have been, been felt bad. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I have been felt bad. Felt bad. I have no. been felt bad. <laughs> Uh, maybe because it is hard about feelings and we cannot say that in, in passive <laughs> hey hey guys remember I, we have to I have think, we have I to have that we cannot do it we cannot do it mm -hmm. all right so so maybe we can say this last week has been felt by me okay so you say that we we might be able to say this last so this last week has been felt has, by has been felt bad by me. By me. No. No. It's incorrect. All right. So do my favor, guys. Mute yourselves. I'm gonna give you the answer. Okay. <clears throat> the answer is no. Okay. Because <clears throat> all right. <throat> I feel bad. This last week, guys, is not working as a noun, okay? It's not working mm -hmm. as a noun. So if it is not working as a noun, it's not an object. Remember, an object needs to be a noun. So the, what is this last week, guys? It's a time. It, it's, it's a what? It's an adverb. It's an adverb. It's a, it's the, a, time. Adverb. the time. It's an adverb class. Is it an adverb? Yes, sir. This last week is modifying what? Felt? Yeah. Bad. Bad? Uh, oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. This is this last book. Fell. Fell. Felt. So it's an object. What, 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 what is bad? Bad is an adverb. It's, it's adverb. Modify. Adjective. adjective. Is it an adjective? Oh, no. <laughs> an adjective that is modifying feelings, you know? <laughs> so it's an adverb too. All right. So I have felt. Yeah. Bad. Okay. If this okay, so remember an adverb answers, right? 
how, how do, right, when. Okay, oh, so how do you feel, right? Bad, okay, so this is not, a, this is not an adjective, okay? This is working as an adverb, okay? Adverb, yes. All right, so this last week, right? So this last week is, is what? It's modifying what? Bad. Bad. All right, it's modifying bad, right? Which is an adverb, yeah, so therefore this is an adverb, adverb too. Adverb too. All right, so therefore we do not have an object, okay? Very good. Now, also, guys, and this is a very cool trick. Whenever, guys, whenever you don't know, let's say that you don't know how to identify the object of the sentence, right? Try to turn it into passive voice. If it doesn't sound right, guys, it means that you do not have an object, okay? Because you cannot say, this last week has been felt bad by me, right? Imagine how weird that sounds, guys. <laughs> Esta última semana se ha sentido mal por mí. Right? Doesn't doesn't make sense, guys. It doesn't make mm -hmm. sense, right? All right. So yeah, you need to have an object. For example, I've right. You can say, or his, right? Well, let's say he's visited Mexico. Okay. He's visited Mexico, right? You can say that. Now, can we turn this into passive voice? Yeah. Well, how? Nice. Mexico, Mexico is a place. has been visited by him. Mexico, right, has been visited by him, right? Good job. All right. Okay. Very good job, guys. Okay, you're getting the idea behind it. Okay. All right. So I, I, I hope that clarifies some of the questions that we might have gotten. So do me a favor, guys. Okay, I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group, or if, if, if somebody could please take a screenshot, guys, of this slide and send it to the WhatsApp group, that would be great. I want you to practice answering these questions, right? So for example, what have you been given? What have you been given lately? All right, so just to have a normal conversation and use passive voice when appropriate, okay? What have you been given lately, you know? Oh, I've been given a lot of things lately. And check this out. I want you to understand how this is actually naturally possible. Thank you so much, China, for sending this, okay? So the question, listen to the first question, guys, okay? What have you been given lately, right? And this is a way we can, what have you been given lately, right? So this is a way, guys, we can say the question, guys, first of all, the question, is this in passive voice, yes or no? Is this passive? Voice? Yes, yes. Yes, right? All right. So the answer could be, you know, oh, I've been given a lot of things recently. You know, uh, first off, right? First off, I had a big surprise. Um, well, I've had, right? I've had the big surprise of um first off. A what? No, first off. Of um no, maybe realizing. Um realizing, you know, um, I'm about to be promoted, right? So I've been given a lot, of, a lot of things recently. First of all, I've had the big surprise of realizing I'm about to be promoted, right? So you, now talk naturally, guys. I want you to give a, rig, a normal answer, right? But this right here, guys, I've been given a lot of things recently. Is that passive voice, yes or no? Mm -hmm. You can say, I've been, yes, of course, right? It's passive voice. I've been given, I've been given, um, I've been given a lot of things recently, okay? Um, yes, I've been, you can say, I've been, given a motorcycle, right? I know somebody loves it so much that they're gonna spend money on a motorcycle, right? Very good, right? I've been given $3,000, right? We may, we may say that, okay? All right, so yes, okay? So that's something, you know, you might have been given later, okay? So thank you so much, Anna, for sending the, the, the topic, okay? Let's go ahead, guys, and get together, and let's practice, and I'm going to share feedback with you 
as we practice, okay? Any questions, guys, before we get started? We good? All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello, how are you? Very nice, and you? Fine, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Well, uh, have, you, have you thought about uh, the examples that the teacher has told us to, to write down right now? It's so, so, because I just You're not entered. I'm so sorry for interrupting. Uh, no, you're not gonna write them down. I sent you uh -huh. the I sent you the, the the questions that you're going to ask your partner to the WhatsApp group. Okay. So uh -huh. I want you to I want you to open the WhatsApp group and you have the questions to be answered there. What okay. Have been, okay. Uh -huh. right, what have it? you been giving lately? Yes. Ex uh, uh, could you please repeat? What have you been giving late? Hey, Evelyn. I'm so sorry, Evelyn. I'm going to try to assign someone with you right now, okay? You were supposed to be with somebody else here, but I don't know what happened to that person. All right. All right. So, <laughs> okay. give me one second because Patricia is alone too. What room is this? Uh, room one, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to try to send somebody in here. Maybe. Thank you. There you go. All right. You can practice now. Then now, did you, did you understand the, what, what we're going to do right now? Yeah. And I, and I got the screenshot so we can discuss the question. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. That is absolutely correct. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I really don't know what else. All right, hey guys, uh, did we get the instructions? Do we have any questions? For me, everything it's clear. Thank you. It's clear. All right, all right, yeah. very good. Let's 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 start practicing then. Thank you very much. All right. Working thing. Yeah. Yes. So? Okay. Just as the teacher was explaining, um, you have to say like, um, for example, in my case, recently I have been given a rose by my boyfriend. <laughs> he oh, just, nice. yeah, he gave me um the rose tonight, so <laughs> that was really nice. We really? saw someone. We were in a park, and then we we saw someone who was um selling, you know. Um, the roses, and he said, hey, I'm going to buy you one. So I said, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that was really nice. Like romantic. <laughs> yes. That's, Sometimes that's he's kind of romantic. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Because nowadays, boys are like simple 
and and we want all those details but they are like <clears throat> yeah and I sometimes i'm like a little shy of asking him to give me you know mm -hmm. i want to receive flowers i want to be given um i don't know like little details but it was it was really nice of him also um today um uh let's see um i've been given a cup of coffee by me <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, you deserve a cup of coffee and also some bread. So I had my cup of coffee today. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, um, what about I, I, can I try? Yes, sure, sure. Okay, I've been given, well, today I've been given um, a diplomado. A diplomado, I don't know how to say it. Uh, how like? Yeah. Hmm, I'm not sure. Like a diploma, okay, I guess. Okay, but that, that, mm -hmm. that thing. And um, I'm happy because of that. Because it oh, is... Oh, congratulations. Um, yeah, like for six months, I, I did that. And now I have it. And I feel like... Um, oh, and I what did happy. you study? Oh, it, it's a diplomato about... About something that it has to be with with trash because I work in a municipality so we oh, did yeah. like uh -huh, an, okay. an experiment I don't know if you say that word <laughs> and yes, yes. Yeah, uh, it is called metodología para para la elaboración de diagnósticos eh, planes de mejora de ruta y mapas georreferenciados <laughs> that's oh, the top really yeah. yeah so um. Uh, let me see another thing. I have been given. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, we just finished the questions. So. We finished. We finished that. Hey guys, can you hear me? I, I, I hear, yes, yes. I, we finished. I hear very, very, uh, no, no. No, that, that's fine. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep talking, okay? Keep talking, okay? My microphone wasn't working for, for a reason. All right, keep, keep practicing, okay? Uh, I'm going to let okay. you when to go <laughs> back, okay? Thank you. My house. Hey, hey, can, yeah. can you hear, can you hear me now, girls? Yes, hello. Oh, yes, hello. <laughs> I was talking. I was trying to talk to you before. <laughs> your, oh. English, your English is pretty good, okay? I, I heard the story about the flowers, you know, and, <laughs> you know, and, like, men are not, like, like, teacher David, <laughs> right? Don't be like teacher David. <laughs> <laughs> right, you have no, to very, very good job. That teacher. Uh, we have to change that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you oh. can. You're oh, still on you, time. You, no, we, 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 uh, no, I, I, you, you don't know, you don't know, <laughs> I'm, I'm perhaps worse, you know, I've written uh, things and such, you know, so I, I understand where you're coming from. Don't, don't worry. I'm kidding about, <laughs> I'm kidding about that, but cool story, right? Cool story. All right. Yeah. Anyways, keep, keep practicing girls. All right. I'm glad that you can hear me now. Thank you. Okay, okay. cool. Thank All you. Right. right. Hey, how are we doing here? Uh, How's the practice going? The problem, the problem is that I I don't I am not in the group I think, and I don't have the the, the sentences. But Carlos, oh, you're you're not in the group. I think so <laughs> because I I oh. have other group I think. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah. do, do me a favor. Uh, maybe Carlos or Ailey. Yeah, could... yeah. But by Carlos is re is reading the sentences and and we are talking about. Okay, right. Let, let me hear you then. Okay. But we have problem from the pronunciation and it's and okay. I, it's so hard. It's that, so hard that's... to to talk that. Okay. That is but perfect. We That's try. 
we right. try and and we had advanced um yeah i think the the number the three three sentences only <laughs> but i don't know how many sentences there are all right no problem all right let's 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 do that okay carlos uh, was talking about her hair his no yeah his his hair is so cut a little bit and he used um machine good machine number one and he, he, he use he uses what i'm sorry what he uses what the 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 good machine the hair machine i don't know how how name is the cat machine what 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 is the hair you mean uh you mean to trim the the, the trimmer like to trim your your hair yeah okay but carlos say oh, me okay. that <laughs> all right told me that told me told me that Yes. And we we are talk we are talk uh, about that the hair. The question read, uh, read, the question that read Carlos is how you uh -huh. I, I think how you, you look your hair I think. The question that Carlos read. Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, uh, good job, good job, okay. Uh, continue, girls, continue. Okay, Carlos, well, can, you, guys can you read the other? Okay, the fourth question is, have you ever been recorded uh, with an audio or video recorder? What were you doing? Oh. Have, you, have you ever been recorded? Recorded with an, yes. with an audio or video recorder? In, in the morning, in the afternoon, um, and then, well, well, with when I get up uh, at four o'clock, um, I I begin in my my work because early, yes. early, very early. Yes. yes. Okay. But, the teacher is come. <laughs> Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I asked for the um, the three questions. Yes. Why does your hair look like that? <laughs> why why my does my look? hair oh why does his hair look like that? Okay. My look is, it is this is my look. <laughs> Only my hair is very good, no large. Because I don't like uh, um, change the, the the color because uh, I like is I like that's it así como está this is uh, <laughs> all right all right that is great that is absolutely great continue guys continue continue okay. continue. Okay. But this is and not you? possible. Is this is not possible? Why does your hair look like that? It's not possible. Is mm -hmm. that is correct? But, okay. Yeah. The that is not. That is not possible. That is correct. No. Yes. Okay. And the second yes. Have you or have you or or a friend ever been attacked? Attacked. Or Robert, and what happened? I, yes, I have me. been Robert uh, in my home, and in this moment, uh, they they take the jewelry, jewelry, joyous jewelry, 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 jewelry. Yeah, jewelry. Okay, Jewelry. thanks. Thanks, sir. And I miss um four four hundred 
and all the year jewelry jewelry my wife my son my daughter and my sister too yes in the number four have you ever been recorded with an audio or video record what yes. were you doing yes i have been recorded in some tales in some course in 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 some the in support yes i record uh some things because i i need to practice the pronunciation and hear me <laughs> All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you back here. All right, so uh, good practice, guys. Good practice. Some of you, yes, some of you have very, very, very advanced, a very, very advanced level. So good job. So now, guys, the last thing that we're going to talk about here. Um, is the future okay so future in passive form okay so we're talking we're going to talk about simple future simple future in passive form okay so uh could somebody please help me read this me teacher go ahead uh Jamie. yes the future passive voice is a type of sentence construction used to describe actions that will be completed in the future by an unspecified an, an an subject. Unspecified subject. Thank um, you. Um, it's kind of difficult to me to say that word. Un, <laughs> un, 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 unspecified. Unspecified. There you go. Yes, unspecified <laughs> subject. Okay. Good job. Good Thank job. You. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So yes, guys. Okay. So the uh, actions that will be completed in the future by an unspecified subject. Okay. So let's take this example for instance. Okay. So uh, the company will launch a new product next month. Okay. So check this out. Right. We have the regular structure for simple present. We have the, what is this? Subject. That is right? the subject. This is the subject, right? So subject. again, this, this is going to be the subject. Okay, then we have something that is very common in, um, in simple future. Will. <clears throat> auxiliary. All right, very good. So this is the auxiliary yeah. will, right? The will, all right, very good. So this is the auxiliary will. All right, uh, then we have a verb. The verb. A verb. Okay, so then there is the verb. verb in base form, right? Verb B, right? We're gonna call it verb B, right? Which is the base, in, uh, the verb in base form. Okay, so far so good. And then what do we have over here? A new product, right? A new product so next object. month. So, in this case, what what is the object here? A new product. A new product. A new product. A new product. All right. So that would be a new product, right? A new product next month. Okay. So very good. All right. Notice, okay, that we have also next month. What is next month? So Albert. Albert. Albert of time. Albert of time. time. Nice guys, you're really good. You're really getting good at this, you know. <laughs> really, really good job. Okay, you should be teaching already. All right. So okay, so we have, you know, we have we have the object of the sentence here, right? Okay, very good. And then we have next month, which is modifying. What what is next month modifying? Why is it an adverb? Uh, launch. A launch. Launch. Launch, right? Launch. 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 
Very good. All right, that is that is correct. Okay, so it's modifying launch. Good job. Okay, so I want you to notice something here. Okay, I want you to focus on next month. Okay, so because what happens when we turn this into passive voice? Okay, so if we turn this into passive voice, then what happens? Remember? The company will launch, right? The company will, will launch a new product next month, right? A new product, okay? And then we have the auxiliary, right, Will? And then we have, right, the verb be. There you go. Hey, notice, guys. Notice there is a difference here. Okay, so we know, we. you can say, guys, you can tell, right? I don't know if you, 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 um, you found this out already, but every single time that we have, uh, that we turn a sentence into passive voice, every single time, guys, the verb be is present, okay? So the structure, guys, after will, you have to use be, okay? So not, not been, right? Will been is incorrect, okay? Will be, the, the, write it down, Listen. right? Because yes, the verb in base form, right? And then afterwards we have we have what? Past participle. Past participles, okay. So we have a past participle. All right, and then we have what? The yeah, bye. 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 Right, and then we have. The object. The object. The object. 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 <laughs> All right. So then we have, again, right, we have the object, which in this case is the company. Okay. All right. Very good. Right. So, that, right. So, again, right, a new product will become. This was the subject. The object. Guys, I'm going to mute yourself, guys, if you're not participating, please. <laughs> Because yeah. I'm here, I'm here for accident se borran and I don't know what, right? <clears throat> so anyways, so, all right, so I'm just going to meet everybody here, okay? All right, so anyways, guys, so you have the subject, right? And then you have the auxiliary, okay? And something that will always be present, we said that that would be B, right? So it's different because we're not going to have been okay and then we have launched like that right launched uh, which is the past participle right and then we have to have the particle or the preposition by right so we have to have by over here that's the preposition and then the object okay now this becomes the object now right so a new product will be launched by the company next month okay so i want you to notice i want you to notice something what is the difference between saying you know the company will launch a new product next month versus a new product will be launched by the company next month what is the difference the emphasis the emphasis right now we're not making we're not emphasizing on the company uh but uh, but to the we're we're making an emphasis on the product now, right? Okay. So mm -hmm. now I have a question for you. Let me raise this part right here. By, by the way, guys, and so far is it good, guys? Or do we have a question? So far is it good? All right. Now I have a question for you guys. Okay, so turn this into passive voice. I will see you tomorrow. Right, we have simple present. Turn that into passive voice. You okay. tomorrow. That is not. Uh, I will. I will you, use that sentence. Is not don't have a object. object. 
All right. So in this case, guys, you is not an object. Yes, you. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Obviously. subject. I will see mm -hmm. you. Yes. You will be you seen, seen, seen by me. Too. Seen by me tomorrow. Very yeah. good. You will be seen by me tomorrow. Very good. Good job. Okay. You will be seen by me tomorrow. Okay. What about uh, uh, I, you know, I'll, okay, I'll check it, check it out tomorrow. What about this? I'll check it out tomorrow. Can this be transformed into passive voice? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'll, it what? will be checked it out by me tomorrow. Okay, so it will be checked. checked it out. It out by me. By me. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? I don't know. Hmm. I, I, I don't know, Rick. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Uh -huh. What do you think? Shake it out tomorrow by me. All right, listen. Why are we doing I'll put it, it? It right. We already have guys. The it is already here, right? It goes at the beginning. It was okay. the object, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it will be checked out by me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good job. So we do not have to say it will be checked checked it out. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, yeah, right? yeah. We, we, uh -huh. right? So that is, guys, right. that is the the difference, okay? It will be checked out by, by me tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see, guys. Can I say, um, I will, I will uh, be fine. All right, so let's turn into, let's turn this into passive voice. I will, no, she, she will be fine. You can't. You can't? I think. There is no, there is no way. <clears throat> Fine. Will she be? No, right? You can't. No, right, very you good. Can. You cannot, guys, okay? Because that's no. not an object, okay? So, guys, if you have not completed section two, guys, or the midterm, right? Now, do you have all the information needed to complete it now? All right. Do we have any questions? No, teacher. No, did we all? Is this clear as vodka? The drop 3,000 percent alcohol. <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Right. All right. And as guys, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much. I'll see you Thank tomorrow. You. Take care, guys. Okay, bye. -bye. bye. Thank you. Good evening. Good, evening, Good night. Good night. Good night.